Hi guys. Yeah. Haven't had the best of days, but not the worst either. Um, my ink cartridges for the printer arrived. But the printer's only recognising the black ink and not the colour ink. It's um, coming up with cartridge error. Um, my RAM stick arrived for the laptop. But it's only recognising half of the one gigabyte stick I bought for some reason. I've just gone to sleep in the box. <laughs> Bless him. Uh, well, my blue bike lights arrived, and uh, yeah, they are blue. One was on in the pack, so one's a little bit dim, but that doesn't matter. Let's see, wax and new batteries in. It's only a three volt cell. Uh, yeah, I went to the job centre appointment. Um, although I didn't see the bloke because um, he was running way, 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 way behind, and um, the person he was with, he was going to be with them for another hour, so he didn't want us, or didn't feel it was fair for us to sit and wait for that length of time. So uh, sent us home. As long as we were okay with going home, of course. He sent us home and. Uh, Um, but he did explain what it was about, and it seems someone has reported me for working while claiming employment and support allowance, which is complete and utter bollocks. Because I don't work, I don't even do cash in hand for anything. All I do, well, you know what I do, I sit around this flat most of the bloody time. So, uh, but he did, the guide said it was nothing to worry about, they just want to make sure my circumstances hadn't changed. Because um, uh, it was such a minor allegation, he said. Unlike the um, person I'm seeing it currently in the um, interview room, who's um, quite a major one. Um, and I think they'll end up being prosecuted. Which uh, isn't nice, but uh, don't commit fraud is the um, lesson to learn there. Uh, that's why I don't commit fraud. Because quite frankly, I don't want to end up in prison, or fined, or whatever. Or both. <coughs> anyway. Dragged the trailer back round the front, and I walked up round earlier. Uh, I did piss myself off, because I knocked the bloody rear light off on one side. Caught it on the railings, it was um, locked to round back, and just smacked it completely off. Um, but that doesn't matter, it can be fixed. And I'm going to do a better job next time. <laughs> Uh, I've got another trick up my sleeve, but I do need some um, small metal tubing. Probably about that in diameter, something like that. Uh, I don't know, a bit of copper pipe or something. A bit of copper water pipe or a little bit smaller, something like that. And uh, I can cure the problem. And I'll cure the problem to the point that the bastard won't come off. Not with a six inch bleeding screw going through it, it won't. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, it did take me off a bit, but never mind. Um, and that's full of scrap because I've taken all the um, computer cases down and stacked those on, and anything else I could find has gone down. Uh, Got my six parcels posted. Uh, minus the ones that sold this evening, they'll pro probably get done Monday. I hope, anyway. Uh, 
Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I've had a sort or start to have a sort out in the bedroom. Uh, I've got the server moved. I'll show you in a second, but my leg is itching like crazy. It's having one of its moments where it just wants to itch. So, have a quick look. Um, I've reinstalled Windows 7 on the laptop, but the um, updater for the updates doesn't want to work. I was just coming up with unknown error. Put the server there, because it won't quite fit in that gap. But I didn't take into account the um, extra width of the top and bottom. Well, that don't matter, it's up the corner out of the way, I won't still get in the wardrobe. Uh, videotapes have gone in there. I've got to take that light fitting down there apart. Because uh, I just want the lamp holder and all the other bits and bobs off of it. So I can run the um, sodium lamp I've got. Basically, so... Both of those parts, that connector, well, that photo cell is actually optional, I don't need it, I can just bridge the live wires there if I wanted to. And, uh, yeah, the big old ballast down there, choke, whatever it is, I can't remember, and the lamp holder. And then that framework can go in the uh, trailer for scrap. But I shan't be needing it. This camera can sit on there. I've got a feeling I'm going to have to nudge that table just a few inches towards the door, or at least a couple of, couple of inches anyway. Those floppy disk drives, I'm going to try one black one and one white one on eBay. Because uh, no doubt people um, will want these to keep their older machines are going because I know there's people out there that still play with uh, floppy disks and whatnot and old PCs so I sort of sorted those sort of sort I sorted those out from the box of floppy drives I had and uh, I definitely don't need any more because <laughs> uh, I got that lot stacked there plus three card readers which I may actually put on eBay because uh, I don't use them I've got a nice selection of hard drives hard drives floppy drives up there so you never know, someone might want them theirs and their old machine is broken or they're building up an old machine an old Windows XP machine, who knows there's a lot of people that do odd things out there, including me. Ooh, they're plastic, I just shot off my rag. Um, yeah, I've thrown several items out in the bin. I've got a bin liner in the hallway that came out of this bedroom. I've actually uh, filled with one in the kitchen bin up, and that's already gone down, so I've got technically two bin liners out of the flat already of uh, crap and uh, I'm filling one up in the kitchen again <laughs> so uh, I've got the recycle bin to empty, I've got that bag to go through I've got like three carrier bags to go through up there, I've got that power supply to put in the wardrobe uh, got a lot of disk drives in fact I've got a tried disk drive or two as well that's a DVD drive, a white one I've got so many what I want to do is keep at least a couple of spare DVD ROM drives and what not but uh, I'll have to go through that one I've got this coffee table out of the way because there's a shelf full in there there's almost three rows <laughs> of uh, disk drives so it's always handy to have a few spare but I don't think I need that many I've got half a spider living in here now but where he's gone
That's probably where that big mofo spider's gone. He's probably behind the wardrobe. If he's got any sense, he'll stay there. <laughs> Oh look, there's another one, <laughs> a white one. One of these actually broke the other day, but I had another one, I actually had two break. One, I accidentally crushed all the plastic here, the actual lens plastic and whatnot. And another one I had where the um, silicon snapped on the strap. So um, I'm just going to swap silicon covers over. Right, remember where I put the one with the broken strap. Look, <coughs> cat. Ooh, right. I tried looking for a keyboard for my Toshiba laptop up there, actually, and uh, I can't seem to find one. I don't know why, but it seems to be getting harder now to find parts for older laptops. Sort of need to grab them while you can, I think. Right, let's pick some changer up. Where's my change pot? There's my change pot. Doing that. Uh, Lego plates I'm watching on eBay. What don't end until Sunday, I think. So I'm gonna have to uh, wait. Ah, uh, da I'm just aimlessly looking around the flat at the moment. I'll uh, turn it off at the wall, I'll take the ink cartridge out. Just run a cotton swab over the um, contacts because it may not be contacting. Um, and we'll see, oh yeah, got a couple of bikes at Mum's and one had this LED light on, but I'm not going to keep my hopes up that this actually works. It had rust in it, but the contacts are clean, the battery contacts, so I've got a couple of um, triple A's down here that I know work. Cheap shitty ones that came with my amber light, wherever that's disappeared to, it's on the floor over there. So I'll try those later. It's only a shitty light, so I'm not fussed. Uh, anyway. I actually can't think. What a funny feeling, I can hear the fire engine running. I got... Whoop. Okay. Any bets on whether the fire engine goes in or not? All you can see is black. Hmm. Roll on when all the leaves fall off the tree and I can actually see. <laughs> That's the one advantage I have during autumn and winter. I can actually see straight across there and see the community centre, but... During this time of year, in spring and summer, when all the leaves are in full bloom. I also had another lorry river. What are you wondering if there's the fire engine? Oh well. Who cares? I'm just nuts about fire engines. <coughs> and other emergency vehicles. Uh... My G-Tech has had a nice booster charge, so I'll unplug that. That power adapter gets bloody hot. It weren't completely flat, but it was dying, so I thought I'd better give it a boost. I think I might have to change the batteries in the GTEC actually, because they don't seem to uh, last very long. That's if the batteries are changeable. Hmm. 
No, that actually sounded like a big lorry. I think I was wrong. Oh well. I can't be right every time, can I? <laughs> uh, right. I'm getting somewhere, I think. It's a bit too late to move the um, TV desk in here now, I don't think. My neighbours below me would appreciate me doing that at this time of night. So that's tomorrow's task. The big ass lorry has just come back the other way. Either that or that was the same one and he turned around. Ugh, right. Ouch. I've got the coats there. Um This is gonna be a fairly short video then, shorter than normal, because uh, I've run out of things to talk about. So uh thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button, it's always appreciated. Uh if you haven't subscribed, subscribe already. And uh we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.